So I am here outside the shepherd's hut. It's very nice. I've been in. I've had the tour, and now I'm going to give you the tour. Um, and so I thought I'd show you around the the parking and the ramp access, and then show you around inside. So this looks like gravel, but actually it's really um, compacted and easy to push on. And then this is the view, <laughs> just from out here. It's amazing. And then we've got the ramp up here, which I will show you in just a second. And look, it's so cute on the outside. So once you come up this ramp, which is, I don't know how to show you the steepness. It's fairly steep, but it's it's fine to push up. Um, and then we come up here, which is a more gradual ramp. And it's also got, I'm pulling myself along on here. It's got no threshold here. So you just roll straight up. And same with here. So if you've got a power chair, um, no worries at all, because you just roll straight over. I have tried to um, keep it tidy while I'm doing this, um, but I have already put some of my stuff around. It's as clean as it's gonna get, I think, while I'm here. So let me just pop some of the lights on and then I'll give you a tour. So as you come in, you have the kitchen here, which I'll take you around properly in a minute. Bedroom through there, which also will take you through. Sofa here, which looks out onto the sheep. I think I'll start with the bathroom. Um, so got a nice big door. I will um, find out all the widths of everything um, but it's a super easy sliding door. I'm doing this one handed while I'm filming. Whoops. Super super easy and then just slide it back she says. It's nice and light. At the moment everything is like this um, as this is how it is when you turn up but Everything in here can be moved. These can be moved, that can be moved, that can be moved. Obviously the shower chair can be moved. Um, that's probably the most useful place for it, for me, because um, I'll be using the fixed shower seat. Um, so that's sort of nice and out of the way. Let's start with the shower seat. So I'm just scooting through here at the moment. Let's pull this down. There we have the shower seat. Nice and well, very sturdy, that's very good, and super easy to put up and down. Um, and look, how nice is this? It doesn't look clinical at all, I love it. So you've got a rain shower up there, um, and then, yeah, I love all the black fix things. Um, it makes it look really nice, and yeah, just non-medical. Um, let me just scoot that over there a little bit. So here is a shower. So you've got, as I said, you've got the rain shower up there. Where are we? Hello. Um, and a little handheld shower here, shower head even, um, which is just at this height. This is like my natural height, and it's just here, and the shower seat's just here. Um, and here are the controls for anyone interested. Um, it follows the bottom, so cold that way, hot that way, um, and then you turn this between the main shower head and the handheld shower head. And that is pretty much the shower. Um, we've got a little squeegee brush thing down there um, just to wipe all the water away. Um, the toilet is a bidet. Um, obviously, if you need one, you'll probably know how to use it. Um, but for instruction purposes, there is the instructions and here's a little control panel. Um, and this is the toilet. I haven't tested the height yet. I will, will do in a second. Um, it doesn't do anything unless you're sat on it, um, so you can't accidentally spray water everywhere. Um, grab rails, we've got grab rails on both sides of the toilet, and because there's a lot of space, um, you can be either a left or a right hand transfer, depending on what you prefer. Um, I'm stronger to my right, so I'll probably move the toilet roll sort of here, and keep it as a right hand transfer. View out of the bathroom window, which is pretty cool. Um, and then this here is a heated towel rail, which is nice and warm, um, very nice. And then here we have the sink. Oh, here's a little um, stool. 
if you prefer to use a stool rather than the fixed shower seat um, or just needed it for anything else. Um, you can adjust the height um, and all sorts. Um, and here we have, hello, my favourite bathroom mirror. Um, so yeah, we've got the sink which is at the standard height. It's got a little waterfall tap. Oh, which is actually really nice and responsive. Sometimes I don't get on with these taps because they just fly out, but that was nice and easy. And yeah, I love all these black furnishings. Um, I'm not sure, oh, lights, hello. Um, and then finally we have a hands-free bin in the corner, which is awesome because so many places put pedal bins in. Um, and so yeah, that is pretty much the bathroom. It's very nice and I'll show you some turning space in a second. So as you can see, there is plenty of turning space in the bathroom. I mean, you could also, if you didn't want the shower chair in here at all, move it into the bedroom um, just so that it's completely out of the way. But I think over here in the corner is perfectly fine. It's not going to be in my way. And actually, um, this little unit here could always be moved in front and then you've got all of this room to shower. So yeah, very nice. Um, and yeah, so considering, um, although it's a double shepherd's hut, it's still a shepherd's hut, um, that is a better bathroom than I've seen in a lot of hotels. Um, and you know, it's it's gonna suit a lot of people. So that's very, very good. Um, and I'm gonna move on to the kitchen now. So just while I'm here, I'm shutting this door and I'm gonna show you how easy it is <laughs> to do one-handed. Um, I did that and my chair didn't move at all. And look at that view. I'm never gonna get over that. So now we can move on to the kitchen. I'm just here in front of the microwave and things. Uh, we'll start off with the bin. So I am currently here um, and I'm just leaning over to get to the bin, which is also hands-free. Um, you can move closer, but I've put my stuff down there at the moment. Um, so we've got, which way does this open? This opens this way. So we've got a freezer in here and a fridge in here. Oh, which has some bacon and Yogurt, milk, butter, awesome. Um, I will explain all that in a minute, all of this stuff, um, which is the welcome pack, um, but I'll go through that in a second, because what I really wanted to show you was this rise and fall counter. So, we hold down and move. Do we hold down and move? Oh, there we go, and then, look at this. You can bring it right down to about there, um, so that you don't squash all the condiments. Can't see my face at the moment, but um, I can't roll under now because the sink bowl is in the way. Oh, actually, all right, almost good. I could roll under here where my legs aren't, um, but where my legs are, the sink is, um, so my legs are touching here, but under here there'd be space to have it this low, but obviously if you've got a lower chair or a kid that wants to cook, then you can get it this low and then it comes back right up. You think about there. I like it, I actually quite like it at this height, um, which is probably closer to standing height just because that's what I'm used to using. Um, but it's a really useful feature and it makes a good tripod when you move it up this high. Um, so I will now show you. Loads of clearance where it is, where it is now. Um, and I'll carry on with the kitchen tool. So we've got microwave here, which is nice, easy, open. Um, if anyone is coming, obviously you will read all about this when you get here. Um, but this is the only way, only microwave safe plate. So put your stuff on there, not on these ones. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's at a good height. And again, I would be able to get closer if I hadn't put my stuff in the way. Um, and the time is wrong. It's actually half seven. At the moment, the toaster is up here. Um, so it's quite hi for me so i'm here and the toaster is here um so it's just about sort of my shoulder height um so that'll be fine for me because obviously i can do it oh that's fun um it's not there um that'll be fine for me we've, we've had a good ch chat and i said possibly about moving the toaster onto here um which is where you can move the height up and down um basic things mop thermostat um a grabber if anyone needs that um and so in here there's um and the floor heating as well and it's heated in the bathroom as well which is very exciting everything on here is on wheels so everything can be moved um out the way 
like this, for example, comes out so that when I want to talk to you about everything, it's just here. Um, so we have little tubs of Cocoa Pops, pasta, golden syrup. Um, these are little bag clips. Um, what's down here? We've got beans, <laughs> a sieve, oven gloves, um, a couple of sprays and hands-free can opener for anyone who struggles with dexterity. We've got hands-free can opener, um, nice chunky scissors. Um, here, oh this is nice, a little easy peeler. Camera it does not want to focus. There we go. So yeah it's nice to hold and I imagine nice to use. Um, and then a manual can opener as well. So they've got pretty much all bases covered. Um, all your cutlery in here. And that is uh, pretty much that. So I'm going to pop that away. How nice is that? So you just move things out of the way. Goodbye. Um, all your sort of cooking utensils down the side as well. Let's move on to what's in the welcome pack. This is very exciting. So we've got some bread. <laughs> Some little shortbread fingers, uh, some jams and marmalades. Four eggs in here. <laughs> Very cute. Uh, I have some croissants, some hot chocolate, uh, and a waffle, and a little Easter egg, seeing as it's almost Easter, which is very exciting. Um, what have we got back here? We've got sugar, uh, oh, tea bags, little teapot, um, kitchen towel, and mugs, which are nice and easy to get to from where I am. And they're very cute mugs as well. Uh, a couple of wine glasses back there, a little cafetiere, um, all sorts. I mean, they've got everything covered. I am, this is awesome. All your uh, chopping boards over here. Um, just some cleaner. Should we try the tap? I haven't tried the tap yet. So it's one of these. Oh, what does that do? I don't know. But it's like a little hose tap love those and then I only have so much hot water so I'm not going to run the taps massively but it's just like this is that right oh, it's cold water anyway that's fine so just bum 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 nice and easy it's very easy actually I love that um, and then let's move on to the hob which again it's super simple so you've just got a two induction stove here well double induction stove not two induction stove that is bad English um, and pans of all sorts back there on that hob um, so on here we just focus first power on you get a beep to know that it's on um, the sticker on here corresponds with the sticker on here so you know which one you're using so we want to use the kettle so you just hold it on and then say how hot you want it and then just I'm not having a cup of tea right now, so turning it off. It's very fancy. I haven't used this yet. This is live on camera. <gasps> That's so easy to do. And it's nice and light. I don't think it's actually got any water in it at the moment. It's a very nice little kettle. Now, these are like recliner chairs. I've put my bags all over them. I'm going to move my bags and then I'm going to stick my camera on there and I'm going to show you me trying to work out the chairs. Oh, hello. It's a remote. Oh, this is amazing. Goodbye. I'm not going to do a video anymore. I'm just living here. I wish I had the grabber on me from over there because I want to show you the view from here. I'm on the armrest now. It's pretty much a level transfer. That's so cool. I'm so happy with that. And my little tripod, which is this, which has got so this has got the guest book, which has got all the information in, but it's got the Wi-Fi password and things, a little first aid kit, some plasters, I'm not actually sure what these are. I don't know what those are, and I don't know what this is, but some things, some little plug socket um, cover things. Yeah. So here we are in the bedroom. I was going to say the main bedroom, but it's actually all the bedrooms. Um, so we've got, I don't know what size bed this is actually. I think it might be a king size bed pretty sure it is um, and it's not a profiling bed so it doesn't come up and down but it does the the head and shoulders come up and the feet also come up 
um, and I'll show you everything over there. Look at the cute little dog uh, in a second. And then you've got the single bed over there, which the, um, so the idea of this is that everything can move around. So this table here that I've dumped all my stuff on is on wheels. This table folds out and it's a really good height to roll under. And there's another table here which you can just move around and that table is also on wheels. Um, everything is on wheels. Everything can be moved and configured to how you need it. Um, so if you are, say, a couple and you're both in wheelchairs, the bed can come this way. And then you've also got a door here. So you, I, so actually, I fit down this space here in my chair. My seat width is about 17 inches, um, and I fit down there and out that door. So you could fit down and round, or you can come in that door and they can move it over and you can have sort of an entrance each. Um, or you could just push to the end and hop on the bed and scoot up, however works for you. Say if your child is disabled and they're using the single bed, the bed can come out. You can have it so the headboard is this way or that way, depending on whether they want to see you or be a little bit private. And then this is so cool. Uh, so these here, oh, we just about have got it. A little, I can't reach the remote to put the light on, but these are sensory pods. I can show you the bottom one and it's pretty much the same on the top. I'm actually going to attempt to get into this bottom one and I'm going to do it on camera in case it goes horrifically wrong. So these doors are super light as well. So just open them up and we've got a little sensory pod. We've got a remote here and there we go. So it's got a single bed in here um, and I will attempt to get in. I haven't done that yet. Um, but it's really, really cool. I love these little spaces. Um, so I may see you inside in a second. I'm in. Goodbye. Disclaimer, I have very tired arms and a very tired body from driving. Um, so I might be a bit wobbly uh, than normal. That didn't go very well. Um, I didn't have the space between the lip and the wall to get my head forwards to get that swing. Um, I think it's probably doable. So I guess if you had a kid who was trying to get in who was physically disabled, um, it would be doable with a bit of help. Um, and obviously they are smaller. Um, so it's a smaller gap to get in and out of. But yeah, I will try it again, um, either tomorrow or Thursday, when I'm not so tired as well, because I reckon I could do that. Yeah, I don't know. We'll give it another go. But while I'm on the floor, I'll show you what it looks like inside. It's very, very cute. Um, so yeah, you can, obviously if you've got kids or not, um, they or you can sleep in here, or it's just a little chill out zone. It's very, very cute, and I like it in there. Quite, <laughs> I will give it another go getting in there once I am not so tired. This is sort of the main bit of the bedroom space. This is between this bed and this bed. Oh, I'm going to run that over. Um, so, again, nice turning circle wherever you are. Really Just jump on the bed and check. Well, not literally jump on the bed. Uh, it's a flat transfer height, so it's literally straight over, sorted, down. Um, that's nice and easy. But these are the towels, and look! How cute is that? Oh, focus. How cute is that? A little soap. And then we've got another little soap here. Let's see if that helps the camera out a bit. And it's in like a little soft thing. Is it a flower? What does this say? Oh, a little tea oh it's a shampoo! <gasps> that's so cool! It's a little tea tree shampoo. That's... Oh my god, that is so cool. Good little dog on the bed. I'm going to move him, pop him on here. Ta-da! Um, right, while I'm here, let's have a look at this. There we go. Obviously, he has a pillow on at the moment. Um, I'm going to move back so you can actually see what's happening. <laughs> Should have moved that first. So that is perfect. If you need a bit of help sitting up in the morning, um, and then... <laughs> If you want to be squashed into a banana, you can bring the feet up as well. The remote is nice and easy to use. It's big, easy buttons. And then we'll send that back down as well. And the bed is exactly the same on both sides. So, that is the bed. Ah, so this is uh, the exact same, this bed. It does all the same things. Let's talk about these towels. I hate the fact that you cannot feel through the screen because these are so soft. If you didn't bring a blanket, you could probably just use a towel. These are amazing. Um, in terms of plugs, um, you've got plugs and USB chargers at the side, at each side of the bed. Um, 
inside each sensory pod there's plugs as well um this plug here is at wheelie height and again you've got a plug socket and a usb now i pointed these out earlier i asked what these are um so again context my height <laughs> and these are just little hooks they just pop down and if you want to hook your stuff on and then they just pop back up and actually i can reach this one as well it's obviously not as easy to use but it's there um so they are dotted around there's a couple over on this corner here um but yeah and oh i think there's some in the bathroom as well so that is pretty much everything um that i can think of for now obviously i will take you through my stay i'm just about to make some dinner so yeah that is pretty much me done for today and i will see you tomorrow